Well, once again, I have Adam Tao with us. He has great information for us about an update coming, a new feature, something super special. So Adam, tell us, what is it? I do. It? There's a new version of MixEffect out, version 1.1, and it has an exciting new feature. Something that a lot of people have asked is, you know, I'm using MixEffect on the iPad, it's great, or the iPhone, but I really want to see multi-view on it. So I'm going to share my screen in a little bit, and we're going to demo the new feature, which is called Remote Web View. I can't wait. Let's do it, Let's do it right, right now. So let me go to my super source here and bring in my iPad. And there's a new uh, global command key for this. Um, it's just command shift K. That's if you have it all specified. Uh, and just let's do the demo real quick and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see here, a little floating window has just appeared on my iPad and I can make it bigger by just pinching and zooming. Let me see if I can get this. Oops, that's a little too big. <laughs> um, there we go. So this is the multi-view on my computer that you can see here. And I'll switch to a different page. So maybe less, less busyness. Um, I'll switch my preview over here. So right now we're looking at the auxiliary two output of my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And we have a multi-view. So this is the actual multi-view output from the ATEM Mini. So you can see I can type uh, preview and I'll show the preview. If I tap iPad, you'll probably see a big, you know, zooming effect. If I tap multi-view, it's there. Um, and I can also go to like Media Player 2. It'll show my background and back to multi-view. So how is this possible? Um, it's really quite easy. In the auxiliary section of MixEffect, there's a new menu option uh, up here, which is the remote multi-view. So if you just click on this, it'll bring up a sheet where you can enter a URL. So right now, this works very well with Video Ninja. This Video Ninja used to be called OBS Ninja. It's a way to get smartphones, computers, devices to start streaming a peer-to-peer -peer video stream to another uh, computer. So what I've done here is I've created a Video Ninja stream for this multi-view. And all I have to do is tap Connect and tap that, and my multi-view appears. Then when I tap Done, the multi-view appears in a little window that I can drag around on my computer. And then if I just double tap on this drag handle here, it will minimize. Let's see if I can get that to minimize. Um, or you can just use the menu. It'll minimize it to a nice small little window. So you can just kind of move it out of the way. And then you can go to your switcher. You see your multi-view. And you can just tap Auto to switch back. And you actually see it happening in the little preview window there. I'll make it bigger so you can actually see it. So if I tap Auto, Auto like that. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to switch over to my uh, computer, which I can do like this. Let's go to the Mac. So there's a complete documentation uh, on my website at mixeffect.app slash docs slash remote dash web view that goes into um, quite a bit of detail on how you set this up. The way I'm getting my output from my ATEM is I'm using a USB capture card. And let me just scroll down so you can see the picture. I'm using a USB capture card that's being plugged into my Mac mini. And then on my Mac mini, I can go to video.ninja. I can click on this, add your camera to OBS. And then I would select the video source. In this case, it's the USB video. I would select the audio source, which would also be the USB digital audio. I'd add, add an optional password um, because anyone who has the link to your OBS or to this Video Ninja link can watch your video stream. So you want to definitely add a password so no one just randomly finds your stream. And then I would click Start. And that would give me a URL that I can then copy and paste. I'm just going to click back here. That you can just copy and paste uh, into MixEffect. So we go back to MixEffect. Go back to my super source. Let's see right here. We go back into the auxiliary section. Tap the remote multi-view button. We'd enter the Video Ninja link here and tap connect. And then we can just tap done and then we'll bring in the multi-view uh, 
on my screen here. And that's how you would get multi-view running on inside a mix effect, um, which I think will be a very uh, welcome feature for people who use their iPads or their iPhones remotely away from their desk. Back to wow, you. great demo. I got to say that I've heard many people asking about this whole idea, or I've seen comments also on our live stream that you were on, other live streams I have attended that you've attended. People have asked, is there any way for them to show their multi-view on their iPad while they're using MixEffect? And I got to ask you, Adam, you keep adding and piling on these features on MixEffect. So why do you keep adding such great, incredible features? Yeah, well, I want to make MixEffect the, the best app for ATEM users out there. Uh, and, you know, I thinking about kind of features to add, and this was definitely one of the ones. And I was thinking, like, how, how could I do it? And then, you know, we've been testing Video Ninja, and I did a Video Ninja session with Aaron Precky a few weeks ago. Um, and I was just thinking, well, if it's being output and the ATEM mini extreme has two outputs. If I could output to my Mac and then do video ninja, then I can bring it in using like a web view within the app and say that this doesn't look too hard. You know, and if you don't have a USB capture card, you could use other, other, other means you could use an NDI encoder. Um, if you have like an old black magic, like mini recorder, you could use that. You can even use an, an ATEM mini. Um, so if you have like, if you upgrade to an ATEM mini extreme, but you still have your ATEM mini pro or ATEM mini, you can actually use this as a webcam. You just plug in the output HDMI out into the ATEM mini's input and then use the webcam, the USB cable into your Mac and then video ninja from there. So there's a lot of, um, ways that you can get this to, to work. You might even have the tools already or, you know, USB capture card. There's like very affordable ones on Amazon for like $20 that you can do. So yeah. And I, the, and I started with a cam link started. with a cam link. Yeah. The video tutorial that I'm going to have up on the, my website later today will be like $20 multi-view on your iPad and mix effect. I have a question, Adam. So why can't you just use your USB C, um, and then instead of having to use um, your out into a cam link, I mean, I know the answer to this, but for those that don't know the answer, why is that, Adam? Uh, because the USB webcam is typically showing like the program out, yeah, right? Not yeah. like your multi-view. So the great thing about the ATEM Mini Extreme is that there's two, um, well, there's actually two USB ports. Right, um, right. One of them is the program out usually, and the other one's usually plugged into a hard drive. So you actually could plug the other USB port into your your mac or your pc as well but i'm thinking that most people are also doing yeah. a record so you're going to actually explain to us how you hook all this up in the video that you have so you don't you have you do want to come out of your multi-view into um like a cam link or some capture card into your pc and um and then be able to create this um in fact we're using ninja now right i am to do my um, video stream into your awesome. video. Well, as always, Adam, thanks for being on the, the, the channel and sharing with us what's happening with this new Mix Effect uh, edition. You've been doing so many updates, so many great features. Um, and so we really appreciate it. And I want to just say thank you. Sure. Thanks for having me again, Keith. Well, there you have it. Thanks, Adam. We will wrap it up now. Thank you so much for joining us for this Life Journeys update on Mix Effect, the app. Um, jump on the App Store, get this new version. It is out today. Um, thank you, Adam, for letting us be in, uh, in the inside scoop and sharing this on YouTube. Hope that you guys enjoy this edition of your app. I know I'm going to get it. I'm going to download it today and I'm going to be using it with my cam link using my multi-view and um, Ninja and I'm going to have multi-view on my iPad. That is so cool. Um, great for my live stream on Tuesday. So join me then, Tuesday at 4 o'clock. And until the next video, I am Keith. This is Life Journey Production Studios. And can't wait to see you again. Mm -hmm.